Welcome back to another video. Before we go ahead and start, please do not forget to go ahead and subscribe. It does mean a lot to us. Comment down below more videos you want to see and follow us on our Instagrams. We will link them now. Perfect. And Laura, what are we filming today? So we're filming um, tips, our top tips that we wish we knew before, before starting, starting our, our fitness, fitness journey. journey. Very instinct. <laughs> okay, so I've got quite a few. Olivia's got quite a few. Um, are you going to go gonna... first or are we just going to take it in turns? I think we should take it in turns. So my first one, actually, this one isn't to do with more the gym itself. It's more to do with eating and, the, and your diet. Um, pretty much, if you're trying to grow muscle, you need to eat that protein. Just get that protein in. I'm not a massive, I mean, I'm, I'm really hit and miss with eating meat and I get put off by it sometimes. So then I don't really feel like I'm getting enough protein in. Drink a protein shake. The fastest way to get protein in is by drinking a protein shake or eat a protein bar. I mean, some bars are a bit I think I, 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 yeah, shake. I personally don't like protein bars um it's just the texture for me i have tried them and i just really don't like them so for me i would make a shake and it is purely because you can add so much stuff into it you can make it like you can add water if you're in a bit of a rush or you can go home and you can actually make like a dense milkshake basically using protein powder exactly yeah so what i tend to use is bananas protein uh, peanut butter protein powder water and ice and that just thickens it up instead of it being watery and disgusting and uh, it makes it so much nicer um and a lot of why has your black mind gone blank so much today i just don't know it's stressing me out a bit it's stressing me out because i know what to say but it's just not just coming say it out. just say it it's like 75 percent of it's 75 percent is your, your nutrition yeah, your nutrition your diet there's a there's a two-way split 75 percent of the results come from food and then 20 percent comes from actual training now i agree with what laura is saying here because my goal like i mentioned in every single video is to gain weight at the moment and ever since i have been eating more and more and more you have been saying to me, oh my god, your legs have got so much bigger. Oh my god, like you look so good. And I hear it from quite a lot of people, but I just don't personally see it. You're not going to see the results straight away. People are going to see the results mm -hmm. before you are. It takes time as well. Um, but I'll go on to that in a bit after Olivia says hers. But yeah, it is a lot of it is to do with your nutrition, what you're eating, drink water, get water down you. Um, you need to keep hydrated um yeah and that is that's pretty much it i mean don't get annoyed at yourself if you have pizza eat the pizza you're eat allowed the, like, to eat you are allowed to indulge in like a pizza or a mcdonald's a takeaway you can do that mm -hmm. just don't starve yourself because you ate something unhealthy yeah you can do that it's just portion sizes, just control your portion sizes. If you have a slip up, everyone gets slip ups. It's normal, it's fine. Just restart the next day. Mm -hmm. It's fine, it's natural. Um, on to Olivia's tip. Okay, so it seems that Laura just done one on nutrition. I'm gonna do mine on nutrition. So we're kind of on the same wave rather than me going back to nutrition and all this stuff no, later on. Just get it, get it over and done with. My top tip is on a training day eat more when i say that is you want to up your protein you want to up your carbohydrates depending your goal if you want to kind of lose weight and stuff you still want to up your carbs and up your protein don't let that scare you food is not your enemy food is your friend in this training mm -hmm. environment food and is your journey fuel, technically yeah so if we don't eat and if we don't have those carbohydrates if we don't have that protein you're burning into your muscle 
Well, you because burn the, into your fat and then yeah, it's your muscle. Well, this is what I mean is if you're not fueling your body, your body's then not going to have any fuel to go off. So if you eat carp, your carbohydrates are your main source of your energy. You don't have those. What else are you going to use for the energy? Do you know what I mean? It slowly will start burning into your muscle and you're going to be wondering where are the results? Why are my results not coming? And it's because it's burning into the muscle. Um, in regards to your fats and stuff like that, kind of like what Laura said is you can still indulge. Absolutely. You just need to find the balanced diet. Don't ever starve yourself. Do not starve yourself. This is the main misconception is people get it very, very wrong. Now, I I don't know what to say. I don't know. Okay, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna disclose anyone just because like it's quite like confidential between me and my clients. Um a lot of people get it wrong. They think they can eat whatever before a training session. And that's not to say they can't, but a lot of people think they can have like a McDonald's or something beforehand or a coffee and that's it and they'll be fine. No, you want to avoid the McDonald's before that because that is, it's bad fuel. It's going to tire you out. I personally feel like crap after I've had a McDonald's. So you're just literally just going to feel fatigued. Um, a coffee fine for your pre-workout but where's your food where's your fuel um you can kind of see where i'm going with this you need to eat if you want to gain if you want to gain muscle eat protein eat your carbs if you want to lose weight you still need to eat your carbs don't ever be afraid of carbs so many people are like but i can't eat carbs because i want to lose weight mm -hmm. carbs are going to make me fat mm -hmm. they're not going to make you fat yeah going on to weight loss and things like that um it is pretty much all about energy going in energy but you're burning out you need to burn more energy than you're actually putting into your body and that is that's how you're gonna lose weight yeah okay my next tip is more to do so with the gym so what i wish someone told me was to plan my sessions yes plan them go in there with an idea of what you're going to train and then you can go in warm yourself up especially for legs activate those glutes um and then you've got a plan nice and simple for best way to build up that booty build up your glutes build up your legs you want to be doing more hip thrusts more sumo deadlifts more compound more, movements exactly um as well going on to that i wish someone told me tuck my pelvis under T tuck it under so basically by that what i mean is when you're doing hip thrusts or something when your back is bending it shouldn't be doing that it means you're going to be working your lower back more than your actual muscle um yeah, like if you are questioning why your back hurts during a hip thrust is because you're doing it wrong. Your back is coming out, whereas you should tuck, tuck it in almost. Yeah, so just kind of just push your kind of tummy in. Kind of, yeah, push your hips up. Push your hips up, tummy kind of comes in. So you're instead yeah. of being like this, you're going to come in. Squeeze your core as well. That's then going to be supporting your back. And then, nice and simple, it's going to start burning your glutes. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, also, because when you plan a session, I tend to faff about. And then someone's on the squat rack or someone's using something that I wanted to use. And then I'm like, great, now what am I meant to do? Just move on to the next thing, come back to that when it's free. Or just ask them how long they're going to be. Yeah. Are you done? Yeah. Perfect. Again, similar to Laura, find a workout split. I personally wouldn't recommend, if you're wanting to grow legs, I wouldn't recommend going in doing full legs. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? You want to, this is the biggest thing that people miss out. People think they can just target the legs. You need to target your quads. You need to target your hamstrings. You need to target your calves. Mm -hmm. 
and you also need to target your glutes. Um, the only reason I'm kind of targeting the legs is because I see so many people just doing whatever. If you do a session and you're targeting quads only and glutes mixed within that, there is going to be a hell of a lot more fatigue through the quad muscle. There is going to be a lot more tension through the quad muscle and through the glutes as well, which you're going to then tear the muscle, the muscle is going to grow. Whereas if I go and do a gym session and I'm faffing about doing hamstrings and quads and glutes, my quads are going to have so much rest time that they're not under muscle tension. So they're not going to grow as quick. Personally, I feel like you need to kind of work out your split. So again, even it will work with upper body as well, like chest and tries, back and thighs. You want to put the muscles under muscle tension and that's how you're going to kind of see results. Um, and like kind of ties into Laura, while doing a, doing a workout split, you're going to have to plan that session. And that is what's going to help you get the results because you're going to know you're going to be more focused you're going to go in there with a plan say if you wanted to do leg extension or quad extension and somebody's on there you can move down to the next exercise rather than going in there and going ah someone's on the quad extension every single video our dog snores honey thank you honey He's going to do it again. Yeah, he's going to do it again in two seconds. Um, rather than going in and saying someone's on the quad extension and what do I do and just walking around looking like a loony because you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Honestly, when I first started my fitness journey, that's what I was doing. And I was like, I'll just go on the stretch mat and I'll just like kind of just wait. Yeah, don't. So this leads on to my next tip. Don't be afraid. By that, I mean, don't be afraid to ask someone for help. Don't be yeah. afraid to go up to someone, ask them how long they're going to be. Or they might even say, look, just jump in with me. Jump in. Then you've made a new little gym friend. Don't be afraid to use the weight area because... Just with, with the... Sorry to cut you up. The weight area... It's not scary. It's not scary. It's not scary. Now, weight areas are typically male dominant. In my gym, they are very male dominant. Out of the 10, out of 10 people that are in there, there's only going to be one female. That's how dominant it is. Don't be scared. You're there doing what you need to do. Mm -hmm. That you'll crack on with your girls. They're not, they're not putting any effort into your goals. Mm -hmm. Especially in my gym. Um, it is fairly male dominant, but I think as well, like, every, all women when they go into white area they think that they're staring at you honestly especially at my gym they're not they're just focusing yeah. on what they're trying to get done they're looking at themselves in the mirror i look at myself in the mirror because i'm focusing on my technique um so yeah honestly that is one of my favorite things that i overcome it is scary but just go in there or you kind of suss out the gym Find when's a quiet time to go. I always train in the morning. It means that I get up, get it done. I train about eight, nine. The people that are in a rush to get to work, they've already gone home, or well, gone to work, or gone home to then get ready for work. Um, so then it is really, really quiet in the gym. And it means that majority of the time I can get on everything that I can use. Um, so yeah, honestly, just don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to ask for help um buy people like if you need a spot ask someone to help you spot or just go to a reception and see if they can get someone probably on a fitness team especially at my gym we have fitness teams and then pts or whoever's free they'll be able to spot you um and if you're not sure on how to do an exercise again just, just ask. ask it's what we're here for it's literally what we're here for i honestly love it when people come out to me and be like hey can you help me sh um or show me how to do this or show me how to use this machine i love it i absolutely love it um don't waste your time if you're there to lift weights don't waste your time on a treadmill yeah mm, that is it just don't be afraid mm. 
you you've at some point you've got to overcome the fears and that is the best thing that i ever did like yes it's scary but then you get used to it and then everyone you'll find everyone's actually really friendly mm. like everyone in my gym is so friendly like we all have banter with each other we all just rip each other apart mm. family more family gym gym family um yeah very quickly if you're if you feel intimidated by going into the gym area or the, the weight area sorry ask ask a team member say if it's like for me i don't know why for me i think i'd feel a lot more comfortable going up to a female and just say would you be able to just like come with me mm. like i feel a bit in intimidated yeah that way you can you can always you will have someone there exactly you have someone there to support you um and also i ask for help i mean i know i know my team that i'm working with but i always ask them for help like I'm like, oh, like, Jeff, can you move or help me move the bench for me? He's like, yeah, sure, I'll do that. Mm. Or the clips. The clips on the bars. They're I can never so get them irritating. On. I can never get them off. There's some really good ones, but then they go missing because everyone knows what the good ones look like. So I have to go and ask someone to help me get it off. Yeah, like, like, don't be afraid to ask. Exactly. Also, someone might see you struggling trying to get it off, so they'll come over and help you. Yeah, literally, like, um, every, like, Although everyone's in it for themselves in the fact that they're not going to stare at you and watch what you're doing. But if they see you struggling, they're going to jump in and help yeah. you. We've had it before where someone's struggled to lift, especially on bench, they've struggled to lift the weight. So someone obviously sees, runs to help them. Yeah. They'll probably let us know um, if they're struggling. So just keep an eye on them. So we'll keep an eye on them. We don't want to go over there and be like, look, you need spot. Um... But if we see them struggling, obviously we'll go over. Yeah. On to you. Okay. If you want to see results, lift heavy. That is my biggest tip. Yes. Don't stick at the same weight. Just because it's comfortable, you need to push yourself. You have got to get out of that comfort zone. I live by this quote and... It's actually my screensaver because I, when I'm in a comfort, an uncomfortable situation, I always need to remember, you don't grow when you're comfortable. When do you grow in a, in a comfortable situation? Yeah, you've got to get yourself. You have to be in an uncomfortable position to then grow and learn and stuff like mm -hmm. that. I remember when I first started my fitness journey and I really wanted to see results and I was just doing the same way over and over again because it was comfortable. That's you then, know you can do it. It's then, it turns into muscle memory. Your muscles get used to that, you know, you build onto that weight. Get out that comfort zone, add weights on. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be major weights. Add a five kilograms each side. Or 2.5. 2.5, work out where you're at fine too light add more on too heavy take it off you can either take it off or you can wreck till failure that's it that is honestly my biggest tip for when you want to see your results results are not going to come quick this is a very misunderstanding that a lot of people tend to have they think the results are going to come within four weeks they're not you it have to stick at time. it and if you're wondering why you're not seeing results you then need to understand where you're going wrong is it in the food department is it in or is it in the technique is it in the training yeah yeah this one i'm gonna like slide in another little tip as well is technique yeah it stresses me out the amount of upcoming pts or fitness influencers i see doing the wrong technique i mean don't get me wrong i probably still do we all wrong. start yeah we all start somewhere exactly we all start somewhere my technique was probably awful when i first started the gym but you then learn or again like ask someone yeah and literally jump in and ask someone to look at your technique yeah like it's it's so simple and if you feel like your technique is wrong record yourself pick it out or ask someone to help you again and then work on that 
take the lot take the weight load away work on perfecting the technique first and then go back to adding the weights like because yeah so there's no point adding weight on if the technique's wrong because then that way you're working the wrong muscles that you're not actually working that you think you're working mm. um i mean i record myself all the time especially when i first started doing cleans and snatches jesus christ i was awful i thought i was like yeah this is great i can do it looking back now i'm ashamed <laughs> it was it was awful but that's the th yeah but, but that's you the thing learn. You, you will learn and you're not gonna really see it from your point of view so always ask always record yeah biggest tips yeah is that it i think that i think that's it yeah because it's like getting more. into like a 20 minute video i don't want to then go on and debate and stuff like that uh, we want to keep it short we want to keep it simple we don't want to drag it out because then it gets boring so yeah that is it that's it so i hope you guys enjoy these little tips enjoy this video go watch some of our other videos if any of you guys are scared or have advice again drop us a dm on instagram or comment below and like, yeah. we always reply to our comments exactly because recently i had a girl kind of message me asking me for help like and tips and things like that i Honestly, she sent me a little voice note the other day. She was like, oh, I don't know if I'm overthinking um, everything and all of this stuff. And I was like, honestly, yeah, it's fine. Like, here's some tips that I would suggest. Do this workout roughly. Um, do this. Not necessarily on the eating side. Well, I did kind of mention different bits for the eating. But obviously, I'm not a qualified nutritionist. I can give advice, but I can't give a full-on yeah. nutrition thing for you but i will happily advise yeah so. like the thing is like a girl we know she'd messaged me because she was struggling with an exercise and she was like am i doing it wrong like can like you know how how would you do it so i just sent her a video across of how i would do it and then i spoke about the advice and the technique of how you should do it so honestly guys our dms are always open honestly they really um, are yeah, we're gonna end this video here thank you guys so much for your support and subscribing to us honestly it means the world like yeah. just seeing our subscribers creep up each day makes me so happy i think when we started this channel i think we started on what i think 15 20 subscribers and now we're nearly at 300 so it's, crazy. it's mad so thank you guys so much um yeah comment down below what you'd like to see more from us um and we'll try and yeah we'll try and do that and we will see you with a brand new video on saturday at 5 p.m bye